And welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, scleroderma is a rare disease that involves the hardening and tightening of the skin, but in some cases it goes deeper than that and can affect your internal organs as well. Here to tell us more about it is Michelle Fuchs with the Scleroderma Foundation and Kelly Coles, who has this autoimmune disease. Great to see both of you. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you Thank so you. much. So for people who are not familiar with scleroderma, how do you explain it? Um, scleroderma is an autoimmune disease that um, it, it is the it, it affects the connective tissues. Mm -hmm. So your body overproduces collagen, and it um, causes hardening of the skin, not only externally but also internally. So it can affect all your major major organs. Where has it affected you the most? Where have you seen the Personally, me, it's affected my hands the most. Mm -hmm. um, it has also affected me internally as far as I have, do have some lung disease because of it. Um, I also have some gastrointestinal issues mm -hmm. due to the hardening of the, the skin there. Mm -hmm. How do you know you have scleroderma? And, and you know, how do you get it per se? Is it similar to other autoimmune disorders where you, you simply start having symptoms and, and notice changes in your body? Absolutely. I think um, with, um, you know, I don't know exactly, everybody's a little different, mm -hmm. but um, for myself, it um, started when I would get pain in my joints um, and then I have an, uh, an illness of scleroderma called Raynaud's disease which is where you, um, the blood vessels in your extremities, they constrict when it's cold and it causes your hands to kind of go purple, white, numb, mm -hmm. very painful. Um, I don't... The, the, I, that's yeah. Just, yeah. One of the things I found fascinating was that you said it, it affects the, the upper skin, so mm -hmm. you feel it's affected your appearance because it's something that, that can happen in the, the skin on your face? Yes. Um, it has definitely affected my appearance probably over the last 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still who I was before, um, but there are definitely characteristics about my face that are not the same. Mm -hmm. And I think for that, it's very um, emotionally difficult yeah. dealing with yeah. that. That's a, an emotional aspect of it as opposed to a physical aspect. Mm -hmm. And your hands, you're not able to straighten your, your fingers, no, right? No, I am not. And does that hurt it also? It does. Mm -hmm. okay. And it makes things difficult. Daily tasks, very difficult. You know, opening bottles, zipping, buttoning, mm -hmm. um, just everyday things. Are, and you didn't think you'd be able to have a child. And we just saw a beautiful picture yes. um, of you and cry. your family. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but you were told that you, that, that you were too ill to have children. Yeah. And um, I mean, you have a precious somebody beautiful. there. Yeah, she, um, it's amazing. Um, when I was about 27 years old, I was told that I was just too ill to have children. I had been in and out of um, IV iron infusions, kind of like a chemo type mm -hmm. thing every month and um, they told me no it just wasn't a good idea and then I decided to start getting healthy about the things I could control mm -hmm. so um, my ultimate goal was to be a runner and with this disease being a runner is not easy so I eventually just worked up to it and I started running and I started eating right and what, whatever, however I got healthier um, when I, um, my disease went into sort of a remission. And um, we revisited again, and my doctor said, well, it's a little risky, but you, you know, go ahead with it. And my pregnancy was great, and I'm healthy still, and my daughter's healthy. Aww. And now she's, she's how old now? She just turned a year. That's congratulations. Aww, thank you. So mm -hmm. cute. What's your connection to scleroderma, uh, Michelle? Uh, I was thinking, that I think it was almost eight years ago now, um, uh, one of my best girlfriend, um, hard time diagnosing this disease, mm -hmm. and that's another thing. So many people might have it or the symptoms, but they don't get diagnosed properly. Mm -hmm. And she was diagnosed, and uh, her mom came to me. We all went to high school together in Germantown, and asked if we, if we would put together something, a fundraiser. 
and that's when it started. So we're doing our seventh annual, but uh, prior to that, uh, uh, another girlfriend from Germantown hmm. passed away from the disease. She got diagnosed at age 40, passed away at age f just shy of 45. So between those two, you know, the, the two things in Germantown is when my girlfriends and I got together and started this walk. What's the typical age of onset? Mm -hmm or diagnosis. I mean, it sounds like people sometimes have symptoms for a while before it's diagnosed. Right. Um, what did they say? Average age is? Well, the average age is 25 to mm. 55, but it does affect anyone from infant to elderly. So you can get it when you're a child, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. That's mostly really females, yes. mostly women. And mostly women. Mm -hmm. um, there's Stepping Out for a Cure, um, which is happening Sunday, August 16th at 9 a.m. This is the event that you mentioned. It's happening at Kinderberg Park, which is in Germantown. Yes. Um, registration starts at 7.30 in the morning that day. Um, people can find out more um, by visiting the, your website. And there is a foundation, the Scleroderma Foundation, um, but people can register even the day of the event. Definitely, correct? a lot of people register the day of. That That's is wonderful. perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. sounds great. like it'll be a great event. Thanks for sharing your story. Yes, great thank to you. see you. Appreciate both. It. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm.